Hello everyone and welcome back to You Can Call Me Joshua. This is the 18th Travel Diary video! In my last video we continued our drive to New York from Sugar Creek, Ohio up to Afrata, Pennsylvania. And it was the last longest drive we were going to have in a while. So I suggest go checking that out. The date is Tuesday, November 21st, 2017, and the time is 7.25. Currently, I am in Afrata, Pennsylvania at a local Amish house. But before I explain why there's bad lighting, I'm going to explain about our last place we were at because I didn't have time to make a full travel diary video. So, um, I'm going to talk about the time I had in Sugar Creek and then about the time I had here. What I have learned is the Amish are a group of people who all have the same beliefs. Hundreds of years ago, there was a man named Jacob Amon, and that's where the name Amish comes from. He was an Anabaptist from Germany. And Anabaptist means rebaptized, not anti-baptist. He received a lot of persecution and he moved over to America to get away from all that persecution from Germany. Another group of Anabaptists from Germany were called the Mennonites. Their beliefs are similar to the Amish, but they have very different lifestyle choices. In Sugar Creek, we stayed at a Mennonite family at their bed and breakfast farm called Gerber Fa Valley Farm. And now we're staying at an Amish house, so we got to see both. The Gerber family farm is close to the city of Berlin. Now you're probably thinking, you went to Germany? No, it's the Berlin in Ohio in Sugar Creek. And also there's another place called Charm and Walnut Creek, so I can say, I've been to Charm. And you'll see a lot of Amish houses there. If you go into an Amish house, you'll see that there's no electricity. Um, they use gas stoves and um, propane lights, but they don't use electricity, so they stick with their horse and buggies, which is um, a buggy, which is like a small cabin, um, hitched to a horse, and that's basically their car. And they do farming too with the horses and the kids learn too and they don't have like really big schools they have like small um, one room schools um, and they just believe in a really simple life which is actually really fascinating and between the Mennonites the Mennonites believe that they can have electricity and phones and cars and go to big schools um, because um, they can they believe they can do it as long as it doesn't distract them from God That's the lifestyle difference between them, but they do have the same um, biblical beliefs Some Mennonites do have horse and buggies and go to their own schools The first day we were there we got in got settled got to know the owners and I knew our place around the um, bed and breakfast house and then the second day we were there we had the delicious breakfast of coffee cake and cereal and oatmeal and all those um, cool treats and then we decided what we were going to do for, for the day. So we decided we wanted to go to Berlin, not the Germany, the Ohio. Gotta get that. So when we went there, the first place we went to was called Dare Bake Oven. And that's where we had lunch. We went to the used bookstore. We went to the Berlin Bulk Foods. We went to Saul's, which is like an antique place. And then we went to the German Village Market and we got some food there. P Piccadilly Circus, Ginger Coffee House, uh, New Grounds Coffee, um, the Leather Shop, Schrock's Amish Village, and Fudge Popcorn Store, and Summer's General Store. So there were just so many places that we went to. Um, there's this place where you could get a lot of leather made things. And also right by it is a pet store. And we got to see so many cute pets. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. We picked up my dad and then we decided what we were gonna do for dinner. And what we decided was we were going to go to Mrs. Yoder's 
buffet. The next day, um, we had our breakfast, the same breakfast again, and then we decided what we were going to do for the day. And we were going to go to the Walnut Creek Flea Market. Um, if you don't know what a flea market is, is where um, each people um, turn in what they want to show, and that's how um, they, they can sell their stuff. The Amish and Mennonite Heritage Center. That's where they talk about um, the, um, the heritage of the Amish and Mennonite. So we watched a 15 minute video which taught us a lot about the Amish life and then also a 30 minute walkthrough of a famous painting called Be Halt. The painting took um, in a total of 14 years to make. It talks about the history um, of the religion and about the Anabaptists and um, about the Amish and Mennonites and also the Hutterites too, if you remember that from my second travel diary video. It's like perfectly detailed. The painter didn't have any lessons at all. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go see it. And then we decided we were going to go to a place that um, the family suggested, which was the De Dutchman restaurant and bakery. We had dinner and after we ate dinner we got dessert and it was pouring rain outside and it was like almost flooding and even when we were driving home um, we saw some horse and buggies and then um, there's actually this big gigantic puddle coming from the river because it was raining so hard. So yeah my adventure um, in Sugar Creek was an amazing adventure. Well, thank you very much for watching. You can click over here to see my last travel diary video, and you can click over here to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.